Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 89, Football Manager 19. Uh, so, <laughs> I went ahead and uh, played those games, played the first round match with Spartak Moscow. Uh, so let's catch you up to date. West Ham, we were favored, 1-1 draw, Danny Olmo with a goal, Andy Vernon, our former player, got the goal for West Ham, uh, settled for a draw. Better than a loss. Brighton, we were favored. We got and we dominated them statistically. 4-0 defeat. Uh, Thomas Heiken, a brace in five minutes. Nice. Uh, Chelsea should have been destroyed by them. Third in the table. Chikwuma and Bobby Brady got an equalizer. 2-2 draw. See a pattern here? I'm I'm Anyway, uh, I did go ahead and record the first leg, and I said, well, that was, you know, so that's why you didn't see it. A 4 nothing drubbing on the road. Uh, Franaschini with a goal. Matt Ingram with a hat trick. He looked stellar. And then Liverpool should have beaten us. We beat them 4-1. to one. Morgan Harris with a goal. Danny Olmo with a hat trick, including a penalty. Their lone goal came after we were already 4-0 up in the 91st minute. So, how are we looking? Well, we are still 10th in the table. 41 points. We have a 3-point cushion on Palace with a game in hand. And we're 3 points behind Villa with 2 in hand. So, you know, we could make a jump here, but we're just not finding our form so let's get to today's match uh, we're going to have uh, or two matches uh, so we are even at home uh, in a downpour so this is the tactic I had gone to recently we played uh, the the Chelsea draw the Arsenal uh, the Liverpool win and the Spartak Moscow uh, I am going to play this tactic because we are at home and I think we're going to control the match. Um, 12, 15, 15, 17, 16, 19 years old. 14, 13. I like his ball handling skill at the back. Walter's back in shape. All right, let's get to it. So we are we do we are nursing this 4-0 lead. They're playing a slightly different tactic. Pick up where you left off. Kickoff highlight. Probably not going to be a lot to happen there. Uh, let's drop this down to our team. I don't know why that continues to change. Spin Schumacher, Chikwuma, oh, Chikwuma lays it up, Ingram, oh, oh, taken down in the box, oh, come on, but we do have a corner, last match he would have buried that one quick in, in a heartbeat, Danny Olmo, oh, little ding dong going on there, all right, Henrik Walter, Playing on a yellow. Nyambi into Ingram. Back to Nyambi. Chikwumba. Five shots. And we got seven shots to zero, but only one on target. This is basically what we had happen last time. Uh, in possession, work the ball into the box. I'm going to change to mixed crosses for these guys. Let's 
don't particularly like the headers, but come on. Oh, I think it's mandatory that you have two defenders on a guy. <laughs> I don't know how to turn that off. All right, Walter into the keeper. Caputo lumps it out. Walter controls it. Crossed out to Ingram. Lays it inside. Brilliant shot by Danny Olmo. His 17th of the season. Oh, by the way, we did set a record with those four goals in the first leg. We set a new Europa League record with goals with 44. Um, Bayern Munich held the previous record. So we we now own the record. Yay. Uh-oh. Schumacher over the top. Good. He's playing dinged up a little bit. What's his deal? A groin injury. I'm 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 recording with a groin injury. <laughs> All right. Headed out. Strobel. Into Harris. Back out to Strobel. Garcia. Down to Franeschini. He puts it in. Olmo. Wolf. Campbell. Pajaka. Oh, nice interception there. Chikwuma. Out to Ingram. Heavy touch. Let's it go through. Strobel. Crossed in. Olmo heads it down. Olmo over to Ingram. Number nine. He had a hat trick last match against these guys. So we're up 2 0, 6 0 on aggregate. Uh, let's go ahead and pull back to balance. Just kind of rest the guys a little bit. Uh, tactics. We're gonna we're gonna go up to sometimes. Just kind of slow our pace up a little bit. Rest the legs. No, there's some defense. Ingram. Uh, he gets past one player. He's thinking he's uh, all worldy now. Uh, heavy touch, Strobel pounces, and he puts it top bins. His first goal of the season. Yes. 7-0 on aggregate, 3-0 this match. And we are decimating the Europa League record. Yeah. Complacent. Um, concentrate. Let's see, dressing room, 15 to 1 on shots. I am feeling it. Let's go ahead and uh, Henrik Walter. He is defensive left. All right, El Amrani, we can move him out. Um... Mid center Strobel. Let's drop Strobel into that defensive center role, and then Rice can come into that role. I want Rice more in the attacking role. Um, pep talk. Excellent. Second half. Looks like they made a change as well. Everybody's playing pretty good. Pretty good. Let's give them a concentrate again. I'd rather you be overwhelmed. Niambi. All right. Uh, do we have anybody that can play right back? 
Uh, we can drop Morgan Harris back there. Defensive right. And mid-center Bobby Brady. There we go. There's a story about a man named Brady. All right, let's do a time waster. Uh, Danny Olmo. Brendan Taylor, we could do that. Playing on the wrong side, but that is okay. I am perfectly fine with that. Harris, oh, just grazes the crossbar. Two minutes of stoppage time. Gabriel drives up towards the mid. Harris cuts off that pass. Garcia with space. Plays it up to Franaschini. Crossed in. Oh, Taylor! Sixth goal of the season for the sub. Matching 4-0 clean sheets, 8-0 on aggregate. You can't say I didn't call off the dogs, right? Blow the whistle. Let's just get out of here. Blow the whistle. Hello? Hello? Two minutes. Check your watch. I mean, even they're waiting for the whistle, it looks. <laughs> they're just playing a triangle, just waiting for the whistle. There we go. There we go. 24 to 2. Wow. Excellent. All right, we'll be back for Arsenal here in just a minute. Let's see, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got 1.28 million for that. Nice, that is sweet. We're in the quarterfinals. Ingram, one goal, one assist. I'd like to see who we're gonna play next. Or not. Well, anyway, we'll be back for Arsenal if I do get to the draw sooner than that. We'll come back for that, so I'll see you guys in a second. Well, as promised, if we came across the quarterfinal draw, we'd be back for it. A uh, couple of things. Um, oh, I meant to tell you guys before the match, um, I got a job offer. Well, I got an interview request. Uh, I declined it because this is going to be the last club of this save. So let me know where you guys think we need to end this. Uh, if you're taking the time to watch it, I want you to have some input. Um, my goal, once I took the West Brom job and got them promoted, was to basically get them to be not necessarily a Premier League powerhouse, but to maybe get them to where they're challenging for Europa League on a regular basis. So we may not be to that point yet, maybe one more, two more seasons uh, but if you would rather me end it and move on to some another save, let me know because we can certainly do that. Um, also, uh, and maybe you're, you're thinking that finishing Europa League where we finish at will make a difference. Um, but anyway, it was Man City that offered us an interview. I did turn it down. They're, they were sixth in the table. Um, we just got one point. $1.8 million. So we're already 2.3 million profit a week and a half into the month. Uh, we made a little over 2 million last month, something like that. So, so we're doing, you know, we're doing pretty, pretty good. Uh, let's see. We started the year at 115.
somewhere right around 115 and we're currently at 114 but that was after we had spent a lot of money on transfers and, and everything else um we did sign that uh, that young player uh Swirid from man city he's going to be joining us at the end of the year so we have three three guys coming in into the year and they're Two of them are youngsters. Uh, one is a 23-year-old. Actually, he's going. To, he's going to the fire. My bad. He's coming to our club. Okay. Uh, so anyway, that's one topic of conversation. But let's go ahead and look at the draw. Uh, it's going to be FC Porto, Man City, West Brom, and Olympic Lyonnais. Uh, so. And I guess there's uh, nine teams for the eight spots. It'll be Man City or Inter Milan. All right, Monaco from France. There we are. So we're going to be playing Monaco. Uh, and then Lyon against Porto. Milan and uh, Milan against either Inter Milan or Man City. And then Roma against Lazio might have might have preferred two Italian teams three Italian actually four Italian teams in the final nine wow Portugal two French two English wow all right so we play AS Monaco they're going to be the home team Man United. And then this will be the sixth round for the FA Cup. So, I mean, you know, we're, we're in position for some silverware potentially. Uh, you know, I, I think we're still long shots to get silverware from either, either cup run. But, you know, we've, we've made a name for ourselves. You know, Man City coming after us, uh, that would be uh, something I would, you know, that would be, if you were playing a, a, if you were doing a save to get to the top echelons, you know, that would be probably your final job, right? That would be, you know, you'd certainly move from West Brom to Man, Man City, right? I, I would think you would. All right, uh, Neil Thompson, 17 years old, currently playing at a north-south level. He certainly has no shot to play for us right now. Stourbridge is Southern League Premier. I think that's one level below or two, maybe, maybe several levels below. Um, yeah, we'll let him go. We'll let him get some uh, first-team attacking midfielder. All right, Arsenal, clear favorites. Newcastle awaits. Oh, you know what? That name just makes me think. I don't know which that's him that's my Jackie boy all right let's check his history so yeah he started with Leeds went out on loan to Bristol Burton Albion back to Leeds never saw any action he went to all oh, on a free how in the fuck did Leeds let him go on a free then he goes to Portsmouth for 1.8 no 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 what's it what's he look like Physicals aren't bad. He's only 28. They've made him a striker. Hmm. He's got solid finishing. Wouldn't mind him. 10 goals in 31, so 1 in 3, playing up top, 5, 10, 
10 jumping, 12 heading. Now he's he's a winger for for Leeds I, and he's one of the players this year that they're talking might get an, a a pretty good size offer from a Premier League club. We'll see. He's he's one of the best he's probably the best youngster I've seen come through. Oh, by the way, these are our youth candidates. Not very good. Uh a little disappointing actually. Uh, Steve Lacken is is okay, striker, decent physicals. I mean, he's already a ten in finishing, at sixteen, so he could he could put some work on and and become a decent player. I don't think he'll be great, but yeah, that's that's disappointing. That was the other thing I wanted to make sure we talked about. All right, so we know who we're going up against. Let's get to the Arsenal match. So what else is going on? I think that's about it. Um, so, yeah, I'll be interested to see any feedback that you guys might have for where we end this. Do we, do we go another season or two? Do we try to make them to where they're pushing for that 6-7 spot every year? Um you know, and and then leave them in that kind of position before we tail off, or if we make a really good run here, do we consider that job done? All right, they want Neil Thompson. I just offered him out. This is to Basford. Northern Premier League Division One East. I don't know. That could be like 12 divisions down as far as I know. But, yeah, we've already made the decision to loan him out. So, go ahead. I need to do a better job looking at those because I have lost a player before. <laughs> uh, Dale Sinclair. All right. He's got some time left. Declan Rice is ready. All right. Uh, we're on the road. They are favorites I think we're gonna go back to that tactic again Franashini up top morale boost all right boys you just, you know, I think at this point, especially like in the FA Cup, you just never know what clubs like Arsenal are playing for. Are they are they going for it? Are they headed in, cleared out, knocked away, Strobel? Um, oh crap! You know, do they do they care if they win at this point? Are they more worried about you know going for the Premier League? Franashini. Nobody over there for him to play the ball to. That's shit horrible. Oh, come on, man. Well, they just have passing. Oh, you know what? Stop. All right. Let's check this. All right. That's back to normal. That's fine. We are attacking. I just wanted to make sure that the uh, that we hadn't changed anything we had changed last match wasn't gonna screw us up this match. Wow, how the hell did he get to that ball? And how was he not offside right there? And it's his first goal of the season, and he looks like freaking messy. Jesus. Demand more. All right, Franischini. Oh, sent wide. Uh, 
I really hate that that doesn't lock in. Encourage. Anxious. All right, let's calm down. Disinterested. Furious. All right, well. Six, four. Possession's not going well. Uh, Strobel. Yeah, we'll keep him in there. And Chikwuma. Sympathize. All right. Because we were losing possession, but we weren't playing badly, that's why I decided I'm going to go to the standard 442. All right. Chikwuma lays it off. Ingram. Robinson. Uh, Oakley got his mitts on it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ochoa on the volley. All right, they're starting to put some... Tighten up. All right, now they're composed and calm. That's them. We're composed. Ingram's playing really good, but he is knackered. Defensive right... Nicky Maguire. Come on, fellas. Push forward. Brendan Taylor. He gave us a goal last game late. Oh, headed down. Rice puts it in the net. His first goal of the season. Strobel and Rice with their first goals in back-to-back -back games. Not bad for our midfield defensive mid duo. Praise. Very happy that they... Oh, come on. Knocked off. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, he went up and punched it away, but it went right to Italiano. Italiano. Uh, that's my favorite Italian restaurant here in town. I mean, never. Oh, my God. Just didn't get it over his head. Nobody there to back him up. Push forward. Very attacking. Well, not a surprise to lose to Arsenal, right? Not a surprise at all. We were in it right to the end. I mean, 90th minute. That's, that's brutal. But we didn't get FM'd. I think they deserved it. They certainly deserved it. Uh, excellent efforts. Maybe now we can settle down and focus on trying to be competitive in the league. 2,760,000, that's shit. Um, I can certainly see why clubs don't even try. I mean, that's Premier League, that's not even worth getting off the bus for, right? Not at all. 
So let's take a look here. Monaco. I think I'm going to do the same thing we did here in the second knockout round. I will go ahead and record the first quarterfinal first leg on the assumption that that's going to be the first first of the two matches. And then we'll probably do and then we'll probably do both legs, right? We'll skip Norwich and Burnley, come back for the the second leg. If for some reason we just get destroyed or dominate then I'll come back for that and maybe Man United. But yeah, it's getting late in the year. Um, so we're definitely going to do Wolves off camera. And then we'll, we'll play it by ear here. Guys, pound the like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I'm a little more happy with the... Uh, Europa League win, uh, not too concerned about the FA Cup loss. We were only supposed to make it to the fifth round, and we made it to the sixth, so good on us. But we need to start getting some wins in, in the league. Uh, Jesus. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye.